Hello, I'm going to give you a review on the 501 HDV Fluid Video Head by Manfrotto. And so I have the this head on the 055 X Probe uh, Manfrotto, just regular photography style tripod legs. So as you can see here, here's the head itself. Um, it's pretty large and, and fairly heavy. Um, so here we're looking at the left side of the head, so your camera would be facing out this way. So your lens would be coming out like this. And so right here we have a locking switch that locks the, the up and down movement, so like this and this. And so that locks that completely. We have a switch to release the um, quick release plate. We have a, another area for a secondary handle. And we have the balance system, which I'll talk about more in a couple of minutes. So we're going to swing this all the way over here. And so right now you can see the um, the lever to lock the left and right movement of the tr of the head. Undo that, and now we can move it. Underneath here, we have the pan. Okay, sorry about that. Um, there were some dogs barking. So as I was saying before, underneath here is we have the lever to lock the left and right movement of the tripod or the I'm sorry the head. We're gonna do that now. We can move the head left and right. And and I hear this knob allows you. That is the pan friction knob. And what this allows you to do is you can tighten this and it puts more friction on um, turning the tripod left and right. So if you want to get a nice smooth shot, you're going to turn that up so it puts more resistiveness on your hand. Okay, so on the right side of this head, now we're looking at the right side, we have the um, handle right here, which you can easily take off by... A little bit, okay. So now this is unscrewed all the way, and you can... Um, you know, put it back on there if you want, or take it off for storage, but you can easily just put it down like this. Um, so I'll just put this back on. So you can pretty much position this handle however you want. You can screw it just, just barely, move it down all the way, like so. And this is how I usually have it for storage. Um, and then when I want to start recording, I just undo this, break it up, and tighten it. And then you're good to go. So also right here, is the tilt friction, which is a knob to adjust the friction of the up and down motion. So you're going to turn this up if you want to get a more fluid shot when panning up or down. Just puts more resistance on your hand, you know, so you can easily uh, pan up. And we have also right here we have the a little knob that locks the quick release plate, so you can slide it in there, adjust it however you want, and lock it down like so, and it will stay in the area. I'll show you when I put the camera on there. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is there is a level on the uh, back of the head right here, so you can get your shots nice and level. And now we're here to the front, where we have the other side of the um, panning uh, friction knob, and we here just have Manfrotto etched into the uh, metal. The legs I use with this head are the 055 X Pro. These are also by Manfrotto. And now these aren't really aren't like um, uh, video legs because they don't have the stabilizer on the bottom or anything like that. Um, they're more focused around photography, but they work uh, pretty well for this head. Um, these even this even comes as a kit on B and H. Uh, these two together, so they do work well together. But it's not it wasn't really designed for that, but it does work well. Um, as you can see, this this is one of the tripods that has one of the cool things, and I'll show you right now, is where you lift all the way up, press a little button under here, and you can, whoops, wrong way, you can go like this, and now you can, if you were to have like a ball head or something on here, you could adjust the, um, and you could shoot something overhead, so like a macro or a product photography, um, something like that. You could maybe use it for video if you're doing an overhead video shot, something straight down if you didn't have such a big head, you know, um, or a heavy camera. So let's just bring this back to normal. So you're going to put it all the way right here, press this in this little button, tilt it up, and you hear a little click, and you're good to go. And you can just tighten this down so that it won't move when you're um, recording on this, so you don't get, you know, like a, it doesn't mess with your panning. And um, so that's one of the photography related features of this tripod. And so also this, um, the legs feature two of these um, like rubber type padding on the uh, legs itself. So we have two of those, one right here and one right here. 
And it's nice if you're carrying around, um, even just this whole setup is pretty heavy itself, but if you're carrying around this and a camera on it, and you want to put it on your shoulder, on your shoulder um, it makes it not as, as rough as this metal and a little more comfortable. Um, it's even, it's nicer to hold, especially when it's cold, you know, this gets really freezing and this stays nice and warm. So this tripod features a much more simpler way to adjust the length of your legs than some other tripods do. Like I'll show you on these ones right here. As you can see, it's more like a, you, you unscrew this to, to put the legs in or out. But on this one right here, it's just a quick pull of the lever, uh, lever I'm sorry, and the legs are free. You can just adjust that back in and you're good to go. So this allows for a much quicker setup of the tripod. And it's one of the main reasons I bought this over something else because I really like this type of um, quick release type lever for adjusting your legs. These legs are, there are two parts, so we don't, we, there's not three, there's two parts of the leg. You have the one right here and the one down here. And if you extend both of these, it goes to about six feet. And that's not even adjusting the center column yet. That's just with the legs themselves. And so just having two sections is as much more faster, but not as precise as having three. Um, but it's, it, it allows for a quicker setup. Okay, so now I'm mounting the Nikon D300 with a Sigma 7200mm f2.8 telephoto lens on it. So I have the um, base or the quick release plate installed. I'm just going to slide forward like so. Uh, make sure it's the weight is centered because this lens is heavier on the back than it is the front. And we're going to tighten with the lever on the other side. So the camera is now mounted on there, and as you can see, it's uh, this is a pretty big head compared to this whole setup right here um, and it works pretty well you know I have the weight balanced out so that's not too front or um, rear heavy it's it will stay how it's supposed to in there because especially because this balance system which I haven't covered yet but this does help a lot with keeping it how you want it and you can put it here and it's going to stay right there it's not going to move you can put it here it's going to stay right there you can put it all the way here it's going to stay right there so Right now, it's pretty balanced out, and you can get it that balanced with pretty much any camera lens combo with adjusting this, um, the plate back and forth. So it's pretty customizable. Um, you can get it exactly how you want it and how it, it fits your needs the best. Now I want to talk about the balance system that I was telling you guys about. So here it is right here. It's just a, uh, a lever that you can push down and up. And so right now the balance system is on because it is pushed up. And I'm just going to see... I'm going to push like this and it's not going to go anywhere. We can go like this and it's not going to go anywhere still. But if we were to undo the balance system, and it's just we're going to push down and you can hear a click and now it's off. I'm going to tilt it back like this and it's going to keep going. I'm just going to stop it. And we can push it forward and it's going to slowly go forward. I'm going to show you it turn the balance system back on. Do the same thing. Now it's not going anywhere. So yeah, as you can see, the balance system really does help quite a bit. Um, it makes it to where you can leave your camera in a position if you're going to be recording or doing a quick shot that's going to be still and you don't want to have to adjust all these levers and lock them because you know that um, your next shot might you might be panning or trying to catch something like a bird or whatnot. That this balance system will enable you to keep it in a certain area and not have to worry about it messing up your shot. So it, it's pretty nice. It's become it's been valuable to me a couple times. You know, I've used it more than I haven't used it. It's a pretty good like option that you get with this whole system, and I really like it. And now the one thing that is annoying about it is that if I put a camera like the one I'm recording with, the D5000, and I use a lens like the one I'm recording with, also the Tokina 1224, the whole setup's pretty light. Um, when you sit on here, it's really not that long either, and it doesn't take up much weight. That if you put it forward like this, and you have the balance system on, there's not enough weight to keep it down, so it's just going to revert back to zero. So some cameras might not have enough effect on the tripod to where you need the balance system, but if you're using a heavy lens like the Sigma and a somewhat heavy camera like the D300, then this is something that's needed, but it's not always needed. Um, heavier cam or lighter cameras don't need it. They just become, becomes an annoying feature. 
but it's really it's just a quick you know flip down to the switch and it's off so it's nothing to complain about or if I were giving it a five star rating nothing to knock down a star um, just something to mention really